So it is a major breakthrough. It is something that really was thought to be impossible, 16 years in development, millions of dollars. This is something you and I do not have to prove to anybody. It is proven, right? Many patents. And it's beyond uh, antioxidants. Okay, here's how I would suggest you might share with people what this really is. I would say, pretend like you're walking down a hallway. Let's say it's in a big library. The first room you come to is information on vitamins and minerals. And yes, those were meaningful bits of information. And we, we saw f phenomenal products come out of that, right? Good stuff came out and people benefited. But keep walking down the hallway. The next room you come to is that of antioxidant information. And in the day, we were told oxidants are bad, right? Free radicals are only bad. They don't have any purpose. You've got to quench them, and you've got to take plenty of antioxidants. We kind of had only half the story. We now know oxidants have a purpose in cell signaling. Uh, so both we need a balanced situation of oxidants and reductants. That's the new knowledge now. But antioxidants are still very important. Your vitamins A, C, E, you know, and beta carotene and all kinds of superfoods. So yes, you should consume a healthy uh, intake. But keep walking down the hallway. So now we discovered phenomenal things. In the next room, you start to see this information about phyto, P-H-Y-T-O, phytonutrients, right? From botanicals and plants that aha, like resveratrol from red wine, right? And, and just wonderful polyphenols and, and, you know, flavonoids and so on. So we're learning that nature provides a whole smorgasbord of, of really important stuff we need to be eating. So whole foods as opposed to processed foods. And people made some good products, some good supplements that, uh, you know, if you don't eat well and you don't have your servings of fruits and veggies, yes, take some of that in a powder form, right? But that was good news. Then we got into some specialized ones. So keep walking down the hallway. All of a sudden, we discovered glyconutrients, glycobiology. And those, that's a whole category of nutrients that it turns out are actually the letters of the alphabet of the body. That's how the body forms its communication molecules. That was big news. It is to this day. And so glycoproteins and glycolipids and all that stuff. And we saw some really good products come out of that. And I'd say, yes, you want those in your life. But keep walking further down. Then all of a sudden we saw these precursor molecules that help your body turn up the production of stuff, right? And also uh, stem cell information, stem cell enhancement, you know, assisting your body's regeneration and rejuvenation. So that's a lot of rooms we've already passed, right? But now imagine that hallway going a long way down and there's a room there of a whole category of information that we really never thought we'd see. And that is really where uh, redox signaling sits. It's that unique. So it's not to put anyone else down. There are some really good products and we should be consuming good stuff, but a lot of them don't reach your cells or don't, uh, you don't get your money's worth as much if you do not have an abundant supply of redox molecules. So food or supplements will work much better when you have this in your system. And so Virtus Norton impressed me. That whole team, uh, I flew into Utah uh, three weeks ago and uh, I was there with about 40 other entrepreneurs. There were professional athletes. There were financial experts. There were people from the world of direct sales and multi-level marketing that had already retired. They already had made it big. And they were coming out of retirement to do this project. That's how big it is. So, And other uh, people who ran other companies were adding this to their offering of whatever, whatever else they do. But very, very experienced team. He, he's got quite a history and on the website uh, there's a nice um, audio of him speaking and his friend uh, Jim Pack both of them really classy guys um, so what they decided you know is that you when you're trying to put information in the marketplace you can try infomercials you can do the traditional retail you can try advertising it's always hit and miss uh, or the internet and those will have some benefit, let's face it, right? But there's nothing that can truly match uh, educational marketing, referral-based marketing, right, which we call networking. And that is when you have something this dramatic and so new, 
it couldn't sit on a store shelf. Nobody would know why they should be using it or buying it. So um, that's where we saw, you know, even the big guys like uh, Donald Trump and Kiyosaki saying, hey, you know what? Network distribution provides the vehicle for the average person to make an above average income. And they fully endorse it. So I think, you know, the stigma that existed in the past is long gone. Those of you that kind of see this uniqueness, uh, you know, you, you realize there is huge, huge opportunity because the company is in pre-launch. You know, it's, it's just starting to put its foundation in place in the U.S., so it's so new. But they did allow us Canadians to participate. They're kind of kindly allowing us. And we have to phone in at the registrations, and they make some certain special accommodations for us. <laughs> they do have a Canadian warehouse already in place in Mississauga. It's only a question of a, a few months before they're open fully. And so we all have to essentially uh, be members, associates, to access it. So this is a whole category creator. This is a category maker. It is not a nutrient. It is really the nanoparticles that hold the energy that either gives a red light to something in the body that should not continue, that, should, that needs to stop, and gives a green light to something that's favorable in terms of healing. That's good. Uh, so it, it almost was to me like the binary code in computer language, if you can relate to that, the ones and the zeros, those simple little two digits, how they create the entire computer language, right, that we can communicate not just sentences and paragraphs, but the entire global communication system. That's how profound this discovery is. And you know how friends and people would always say to you, the body has an innate ability to heal itself? but we just didn't quite know how it does it. I think this is as close as I can get to saying this is the magic that's going on that actually turns the light on in the cell city. So that's what the owner, the CEO and the founder, Virtus Norton, he said to him, this is truly like the light switch that turns on the electricity in the cell city. What that means to us is, yes, we have to nourish and hydrate. Of course we do. But then this actually makes the, the nutrients meaningful. They work in our body as a result of this. That's big news. So that's the message that, you know, as we're re going to repeat that again to the, the guests at 730, uh, that is the message that this is so foundational in the body that nothing happens without this. Right from, you know how you, your DNA, your genetic code in the library of life is all coiled really tight? Well, these little molecules are the guys that get it to straighten out for a section of it so it can be read. That section can be read. And then comes along the messenger RNA and, and transcribing that message and now carrying that message to the little factories, the little ribosomes, where we're going to now make certain things, certain proteins to construct stuff, right? So all that has to be signaled by these guys. Then it also runs every single hormone in the body. The hormones know what to do according to these signaling molecules. Every single cytokine, which are those sig sort of circulating signaling molecules in your body that are bigger guys, right? They are turned on and off by this, that, so they know what to do. So cytokines. Inside the cell, there's a whole class of things called kinases, kinetic little kinases that take messages from the brain as to, hey, what's going on on the outside, right? And take that message to the DNA, to say, here's how we're going to respond to the outside, either threat or good stuff going on. So all of that signaling, and then every single class of white blood cell is controlled by this signaling thing. But let's say a cell has gone a bit too far, and now it's becoming a cancerous cell or precancerous, right? It's starting to replicate in the wrong way. These little signaling molecules are the ones that are going to say, ah, ah, ah. I, my daughter taught me this. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. You're not going to, um, you are not going to replicate. It's time for you to check out, and that is what we call apoptosis, right? The natural programmed cell death. That's a safety mechanism, isn't it, in our body? When things go wrong, you have viral infected cells or cancer cells. They gotta know when it's time for them to go and be recycled. So now you've got a hole where that cell was in the connective tissue matrix, and. 
it's these signaling molecules, these little guys that run around and, and signal the, the adjoining cells, the neighboring cells, and say, okay, you guys, now we're going to replace that cell, but we're going to do it right. We're going to put a good cell, whatever it was, liver cell, pancreas cell, 